How would you like to make more progress in 12 weeks on your musical goals than other people do in a full year? Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Nate Savage. And I'm Chelsea Amber. Have you ever gotten to the end of a year and felt discouraged by the amount of musical progress you made in the previous 12 months? Yeah, maybe life got in the way. Sometimes we procrastinate, sometimes we lack motivation, and sometimes we just don't have anyone to keep us accountable. Well, we recently read through a book called The 12 Week Year by Brian Moran and Michael Lennington. And we're so motivated by it that we're like, we have to create a 12 week accountability group <laughs> on the Guitar Fam site. And we're going to call it the Guitar Fam Growth Group. More on that later. Yeah, and if you haven't read the book yet, it is available for free as an audiobook on YouTube. So we'll leave a link in the description for you. The idea behind the book is to achieve your goals faster and be more efficient with your practice time by using 12 week chunks to kind of set your goals and measure things instead of a full year. Yeah, so that smaller chunk of time will help you create a greater sense of urgency and focus through a solid plan, consistent action, and accountability. With that in mind, uh, we just wanted to share six of our favorite takeaways from the book with you to help you be more efficient at your practice and reach your goals faster. Number one, 12 week cycles. Um, you know how at the beginning of a year, New Year's resolutions are just goal setting time. People will think, okay, what do I wanna do this year? And they'll make their annual goals or whatever. Um, when you do something on that big of a timeline, it's easy to procrastinate or forget about it or just not have a good sense of urgency. Uh, when you have a smaller timeline, like 12 weeks, you're like, oh man, I only have 12 weeks to get this done. Now, one goal that I picked for 12 weeks was to do as many YouTube cover videos for the site as I could. And uh, that smaller 12 week timeline really gave me a sense of urgency on hitting things hard right away. And I got a lot done. I actually hit my minimum, even though I hurt my hand, where if it was a longer goal, like, you know, this year I want to do as many cover songs as I can, I probably wouldn't have had that sense of urgency and gotten as much done as I did. Now the inverse of this is kind of true I've noticed for guitar players in particular. Uh, we often think things will come to us way faster than they actually do. So after two, three, four weeks of practicing something when we don't see the results we want, we kind of get deflated, lose motivation and stop working on that thing. Whereas we, we set up a little bit longer of a goal, 12 weeks, and we're like, I'm gonna keep pushing through this through all 12 weeks and then measure my success. That longer timeline gives us more time to get it down and a reasonable kind of timeline uh, to see some success and really ingrain some skills. Number two, accountability. Holding yourself accountable is crucial for achieving goals and that includes tracking your progress, reviewing your performance, and adjusting your strategies as necessary. For example, if you wanna work on our bar chord masterclass, maybe 30 minutes a day, five days a week, keep track of how often you hit your weekly goal. And a key part of this is also to have an accountability group to encourage you when you feel unmotivated and also to help you keep your eyes on the prize. Number three, a weekly planning. This is something I do in my personal life. Uh, Monday mornings, I sit down and I write down what I want to accomplish for work, uh, family stuff, and then uh, exercise too. You can apply the exact same thing uh, to your practice routine. Uh, and one of the great things about this is if you have it written down for the whole week, when you sit down to practice, you'll know exactly what you need to work on. Another great uh, thing about this is when you're doing your uh, routine for the week and you're sitting there writing it down, you can reflect on the last week, see how things went, and you know, make tweaks to your practice routine based on if it was great or if it you know, wasn't as good as it could have been. Number four, discipline. Success requires discipline and commitment to follow through on your plans even when you hit distractions and setbacks. This really comes down to taking action. We can have the most amazing goals in the world for our singing or our guitar, but until we actually do anything about those goals, they're just gonna remain wishes. And let's be honest, it's a lot easier to stay disciplined for 12 weeks than it is for 12 months. Number five, flexibility. If a strategy or practice plan or routine that you're implementing isn't working, you need to you know, have the humility and flexibility to say, oh, this isn't working. On week 10 or whatever you're on, I'm gonna change things up and try something new. This is also true because we all know life just gets in the way. We have a two and a half year old <laughs> and there's a lot of unexpected things that happen throughout the course of a day. So if I don't get the practice time that I wanted to today, that's okay. I can be kind to myself and pick it back up tomorrow. Number six, focus on the now. Don't get overwhelmed by the big picture. Just focus on what needs to be done today and this week to get closer to your goal. A great application for this is if you're working through a song that is 
quite challenging, then just focus on that first measure. And then when you are done working on that first measure, move on to the second measure, pour all your energy into that one measure. And eventually, measure by measure, you're gonna get the entire song down. By following the principles in the 12 week year, we believe that you can make as much progress in 12 weeks as some people see in a full year. Imagine working on the thing that's most important to you on guitar right now for the next 12 weeks and then never having to deal with that or have it be a problem with your playing again. And imagine making lifelong friendships with people who share your passion for music and will cheer you on and help keep you on track. We want to make it easy for you to implement these principles, see real progress, and make meaningful connections. That's why we're doing the 12-week Guitar Fan Growth Group. Starting Saturday, June 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific, we are going to meet over Zoom at the same time each week for 12 weeks. You'll get to pick one or two goals to focus on over the course of those weeks, and you'll get to check in with your successes and struggles. Now, if you're already a Guitar Fan Premium member, this is already included in your membership, so there's no additional cost. All you have to do is show up to the Zoom meetings. And if you're not a premium member yet, you can join with a monthly or annual account. This is a fantastic way to set some musical goals and hold yourself to them for 12 weeks. Yeah, let's avoid spinning our wheels on the same guitar struggles again next year. If you'd like to join us for the Guitar Fam Growth Groups, just follow these three steps. Go to guitarfam.com and create your premium monthly or annual account. Number two, grab the Zoom link from the members area. And number three, show up to the Zoom meetings on June 1st. Get your premium account today and we'll see you on June 1st.